Hello everyone! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie. I am the Introverted Reader and today's video is going to be a little discussion. Um, I don't know whether or not I'm gonna make this into like a two-part thing but um, or maybe I might. I don't know. Depending on the title. If it says part one in this title then I've decided to but whatever. Um, basically I wanted to talk about some characters that I have consumed in, you know, literature or TV show, whatever, um, that I believe are on the asexual spectrum in some way. Um, now, as an asexual person myself, it's very rare for me to be able to find characters that do identify as ace, and there's just not enough of them, frankly. Like, I mean, Alice Oseman does a good job of it, but anyway. That's a topic for another video, but I wanted to talk about these characters specifically. Just, I just, I just feel that they could be in some way. They feel very ace coded in my mind. And just a little disclaimer: this is just my opinion. If you disagree, that's fine. Um, you know, don't be coming for me. Don't be all like, well, that, 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 that. This is just my opinion. And last I checked, I'm allowed to have one, so that's just what we're gonna go with, kids. Okay. So like I said, it's very rare for me to be able to find a character that I identify with in any shape or form, whether it's to do with them being introverted or I feel like they're neurodivergent maybe in some way. Um, but these three that I have picked out, um, I just, I don't know, I just feel it in my bones that they could be ace in some way. The first one that I picked out is actually from an anime. <laughs> anime slash manga. Uh, one of my favorites actually or on High School Host Club which I am actually re-watching at the minute and it's a great time. But anyway, Haruhi. Does anybody feel like Haruhi could be ace? Now there's talk about Haruhi being non-binary which I totally, um, I totally see as well but that's not what we're talking about. I just like she is one of those characters that like all the way through the series she doesn't really show any interest in anyone you know what I mean like boy or girl like she's happy enough being friends with people but she doesn't seem to have any romantic um you know feelings for anyone like people would like there was an episode where she met a boy that uh, she ran into a boy that had feelings for her before she graduated to go to um to go to Oran Academy and he kind of low-key confessed to her but like she didn't really comprehend what he was saying and like I don't know maybe the core of that she was just like you know that was the asexuality talking you know I feel like she could be asexual or aromantic I just feel that you know and re-watching the series now <coughs> excuse me re-watching the series now I'm just like you know what I feel like she could be in the anime anyway I definitely get that. I think they changed some stuff from the manga whenever they were making it, um, whenever they were creating the, the animation. But yeah, let me know if you feel the same way about how he in the comments or if you've watched Dora on High School Host Club or like just what your favorite anime is in general. Let's have a conversation. <laughs> the second character that I, um, <coughs> that I kind of low-key feel like could be Ace that I, I've talked about before. I, I, I did a whole uh, two-part um, video on this very subject and I talked about Merlin from the TV show Merlin. Now, that version of Merlin, I feel like he's an asexual gay. I just feel it in my bones. Like I talked about in the Merlin Diaries that I did, um, which I'm actually really proud of. I'm actually really proud of that wee video series. Not very many people watched it, but I'm very proud of those two videos um where I talk about how like I feel like yes Merlin does have romantic feelings for Arthur but he doesn't have wink wink those types of feelings you know what I mean he doesn't like you know he's happy to you know <laughs> hang out but he's not making eggs do you know what I'm saying um go watch those two videos the Merlin Diaries if you're a fan of Merlin the tv show I'd really appreciate you watching those videos I'll try and leave them linked in the description and the third character that I <laughs> that I feel like could be asexual. Now, bear with me when I say this, okay? Casbrecker. Don't come for me. I feel like Casbrecker could be ace 
in some form of fashion. Don't ask me why, I just do. And again, you read the Six of Crows duology, he has, he has love for what he does. He has love for his other, uh, you know, the, the other crows, even though he doesn't really show it very often. And obviously he has love for Inej. Does that mean that it's, you know, maybe purely sexual or whatever? No, no, it doesn't. Like, does he love her truly? Yeah, but the, it's the way he portrays it that just makes me feel like, oh, you know what, he could be. I mean, he does have the aversion to touch, but obviously that's from, uh, you know, that's from the trauma or whatever. But, you know, I just, I don't know. I don't know. I just, I feel like he could be in some form of fashion. I don't know why. I thought maybe some of the other crows could, I thought I was thinking like, could any of the crows be? And then my brain just went, oh, Kaz could be ace. He just feels very ace coded in my mind. <laughs> and like, are all these characters the same? No, absolutely not. All three of them are very, very, very different. And it comes to, you know, them and how I feel they could be asexual is very, very different because obviously asexuality is a spectrum. You know, not all of us are the same. You know, for me, I fall into the category of I have experienced romantic feelings for people and I would love to have a romantic relationship with someone, you know, so that I could talk to and hang out with and stuff like that. But I'm, not, you know, you know what I'm saying? That I'm not interested in, do you know what I mean? Like that doesn't, I'm, I like, I've never been attracted to anybody in that way. Do you know what I'm saying? Am I making myself clear? I don't want to actually say the words. <laughs> But um, hopefully you understand what I mean. But like I said, asexuality is a spectrum. You know, some people, you know, everybody falls into whatever category they want to. Think of it like a, I don't know, like a Venn diagram. Some are over here, some are over here, some fall down here, or some might be down here, some might be down here. You know, like everybody falls into different slots and it's whatever you're comfortable with. And when it comes to different characters within books, I mean... I love sitting and speculating and I'm not trying to put a label on anybody. It's just something that I like there. It's really to do with the character's personality and how they interact with others, how they, you know, express their feelings. You know, that is just real. Like these three are just examples. Like I'm sure I'm missing a whole bunch that we could easily sit here and, and talk about and feel free to in the comments um you know tell me like maybe some other characters you feel you know that, that could be ace or just like queer in general obviously we're not trying to put a label on anybody we're just having some fun we're just having a wee discussion that's all that is um but yeah that is pretty much all I wanted to talk to you about in this video today I'm gonna do another part <laughs> um I'm going to do another part um, about this because I've got some other things I wanted to discuss, but I don't want to keep you too long in this video. This was just a fun little, <laughs> that I just wanted to do like a fun wee quick video for you today, but we'll have a more in-depth discussion um, next time because I, I still have some things that I want to think about and write down in my notebook. So that is all for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed this and remember everything that I've said is just my opinion. I'm not trying to put a label on anyone. I'm just speaking as an ace person myself. You know, like I feel like these characters could be as well. But anyway, leave comments if you want. Leave a like so the algorithm knows you like me. <laughs> Subscribe if you haven't already. Ring the bell. And I'll see you next Tuesday for uh, part two to whatever this is. <laughs> Bye.